The resurgence of labor in America continues. Unions have begun to rack up several more wins, this time against Starbucks. Uh, now, Starbucks, of course, famous human, union busting firm. Um, and uh, yet, here we have some more victories. In fact, on Thursday, three upstate New York Starbucks stores, two in Rochester and one in Buffalo, had voted to unionize. In Rochester, workers at a new Starbucks in the Whole Foods Plaza on Monroe Avenue voted 10 to 3 for a union, while the tally was 13 to 11 at the company's Mount Hope location. Meanwhile, in Buffalo, the vote was 18 to 1 in favor of forming a union at the downtown Starbucks in the corner of Delaware and Chippewa, making that location the sixth local branch of the coffee chain to unionize, according to Spectrum News. Rochester uh, organizer Haley Fagan said in a statement, quote, We are overjoyed. This is what it's all about. Partners truly becoming partners. Throughout this process, there has been nothing I've come to appreciate more than every partner standing next to me, every partner so courageously advocating for themselves. So uh, she refers to partners, by the way. Uh, there, there's this weird thing at some jobs where your partners, associates, family members, even in some cases, I, I kid you not. Um, but generally, the more endearing of a term they tend to use, the less likely they treat you like that. I'm just saying. So, But in this case, a union partner, well, I, again, partners standing with partners to form a union, I think that's the best thing uh, that we can see. Uh, all right, so now, um, this follows uh, uh, other victories uh, at other companies, for example, Amazon. Amazon created a union in one of its warehouses. That's fantastic. Uh, and it also follows union victories and strikes in places across the country. Uh, in fact, many of these uh, strikes, like at John Deere, uh, Kellogg's, you've uh, uh, right now concrete workers in Seattle that are currently on strike. Um, many of these strikes, many of these union actions have netted significant concessions from the company. Companies that have seen uh, you know, their, their uh, profit margins in the billions of dollars. Now, these have uh, netted significant bumps in pay and benefits for these workers, better working conditions. I think that's fantastic. And understand that that's what people are asking for. Now, these unionization pushes have led Starbucks to bring back union buster Howard Schultz for the third time as the CEO. Uh, in fact, here's what he said recently about the unionization efforts all over the country. Here's where it gets a little sensitive, because I've been coached a little bit. But I do want to talk about something pretty serious. We can't ignore what is happening in the country as it relates to companies throughout the country being assaulted in many ways by the threat of unionization. You might have, you probably should have been coached a little bit better than that. He just comes out and says it. They're being assaulted. Assaulted by the threat of a labor union. Oh my God. By people who actually want to have good pay and benefits. That's an assault on you. That's an assault. I mean, that's insane. Almost as insane as uh, trying to placate people with NFTs. And here's the thing, right? So e even if the company, by the way, uh, decides to, to do pay, a, a good pay and benefits, without a union, it's still better to have a union. Uh, why? Again, you have uh, uh, the solidarity, you have workers that are working together uh, with the company to bring up any potential issues in the future, worker protections, um, any issues would have to be addressed by management when they pop up. And besides, a unionized workforce, any good company could also help the company. Represented workers that are happy are productive workers. There's less turnover, less uh, need to train new people for those positions, more opportunities for growth, uh, because they're not just focused on the short term, they're focused on the long term. So that actually keeps costs lower than a place that has terrible employee churn, okay? So now, 
In fact, overall, it sets up your business for long-term success, which is a good thing. It's supposed to be a good thing. I know it's anathema to the big corporations right now, uh, constantly seeking short-term gains. But again, it's good for the, the economy at large. Again, the labor union, the labor movement itself is a positive thing. It built the middle class in this country. It made people, regular people, actually be able to buy things, to afford things, to live good lives. We need that in this country more than ever. But of course, after union busting, decades and decades of union busting, skyrocketing corporate profits, and going in the absolute wrong direction when it comes to workers' rights, thankfully, we now have labor coming back. And I know there's a long way to go for labor. They're still incredibly underrepresented in the uh, uh, workforce overall. However, every little victory like this, as we've seen, continues to add and add and add. And now, hopefully, it will get to a point to where it snowballs and we have a real worker awakening in this country. I can't wait for it.